Screw damn it! I haven't got all minute. Oh god. Not another bagel. I just can't do another bagel. I will go bananas if I eat another bagel. B A N A N A S! Welcome once again to Amy Mac Cooks, and we are going to go a little bananas this morning. <laughs> oh yeah, that was bad, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was. All right, so, <laughs> I spare you no cheesy joke here, I'm sorry. You just might as well know that right now, yeah. Uh, so, we are going to make crunchy nanners in the air fryer this morning because... Uh, you just saw my little freak out there. I am bageled the frick out. So why not air fry some bananas and have a lovely uh, fruity, banana-y, crunchy, warm, sweet breakfast. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start with two large bananas. And we're just going to chop those in thirds. Cut that little seed off. Don't need that. So uh, that is the incredibly hard first step. All right, what we have here is a dipping station for our crunchy air fried nanners. We've got a uh, half a cup of flour with a pinch of salt, two beaten eggs, and uh, three quarters of a cup of panko, which are Japanese breadcrumbs. You can find them in your grocery store. No, really, you can find them in your grocery store with the regular breadcrumbs. Um, I like to use panko because they're extra crispy and crunchy and yummy. Um, and I also cook a lot of uh, uh, other fried meats with uh, panko, but trust me, you will love them. They are lovely, but if you so desire, you can just use regular old breadcrumbs, uh, but I would recommend not using the Italian seasoning ones because uh, those might taste a little weird. But hey, you do you. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, so let's start uh, dipping these nanners and get them in the fryer. All right, here we go. We're just going to dip a uh, roller banana in the flour. Get it good and coated. Like so. And then we're going to roll it in the egg mixture. coated and then roll it in our panko once again getting it good and coated and then set it aside same thing with each item making sure to get everything good and coated and I will show you one of these up close here so you can get a good idea of what's going on. Got something in there. I don't know what that was. But it did not look delicious. But yes, they should look like that. I will bring you back when we've got everything coated and ready to go into the air fryer. All right, now our bananas are all nice and coated with the panko and uh, the other fry mix stuff. So, so I'm going to totally miss them with <laughs> the olive oil spray. So I'm going to get these good and spritzed. All right, that's the top side. Let's roll them over. I'll make sure we get all the sides of our nanners. Good and spritzed with our olive oil coating, or spray, I should say, not coating. Don't forget to get the ends. This ensures that they fry up nice and crispy. All right, so now it's time to put them in the basket. All right, bananas are in our air fryer basket. I am now going to make sure it is seated properly. Pull back my guard. Put it in the air fryer. 
And then we're going to, oops, <laughs> still learning this thing. Set our time for eight minutes and our temperature for 360. Sorry, let me get that in focus. And then uh, we're gonna start this. And at about four minutes, uh, we'll give it a shake and make sure that everything's cooking up nicely. All right, it's time to give our uh, bananas a good shake. They're looking really good. And they're smelling really good. Just give them a good little shaky, shaky shake. Nah, they're good. All right. I was going to toss them with a spatula, but I think we are fine. A lot easier to shake them if I just take the fabric out. There we go. All right, beautiful. In we go, and away we go. All right, I'll bring you back when we're ready to finish up. All right, our bananas are out of the air fryer, but I'm not content to leave well enough alone, so I am rolling them, while they're still hot, in some cinnamon and sugar. Because why the hell not? I mean, come on. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, we want this to be a sweet, decadent breakfast. And y'all, these bananas, I wish you could smell how sweet and lovely they smell. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do have asbestos fingers. Um, I would recommend doing this with a fork. <laughs> um, but yeah, just gonna uh, roll these beauties up in some cinnamon and sugar just to uh, make it that much sweeter and nicer. And uh, then we get to eat them. Here is our finished product, and uh, without further ado, let's taste them and see how they are. All right, so right now I can tell you these smell amazing, but let's take a wee bite, shall we? They're very soft on the inside, but crunchy on the outside. Oh my God, you guys. Totally got to try this. So good. So easy. Great breakfast. Great dessert. And like I said, so easy. And just remember, if Amy Mac cooks, so can just about anybody else. Take care and I will talk to you soon.